Hello and welcome back to Children's Reading Cove. This is chapter nine of Dragon Masters, Saving the Sun Dragon. Chapter nine, Capri and Wati. Get down, everyone, Drake yelled. The Dragon Masters all ducked, but the dragon was not after them. He came to a stop right next to Capri. The dragon wrapped his wings around her and made a happy purring sound. It looks like they know each other, Drake said, pointing to the two dragons. Wati was gently stroking Capri's back with one of his wings. Her eyes were closed and her head was drooping. Wati had black scales, and Capri had white scales, but they had the same graceful bodies and yellow-tipped wings. They look a lot alike, said Bo. Yes, except that Capri has light scales, and Wati has dark scales, added Drake. Light and dark, like the sun and the moon. Rory yelled. Anna's mouth dropped open. This is what we'd been hoping for. Haru looked thrilled. Wati is a moon dragon. My father taught me that all moon dragons have a twin, a sun dragon, he said. Wati must have known. Capri would be in this pyramid tonight. That explains why he suddenly flew off earlier. I'm glad that I followed him here. Drake was starting to figure it out. So Capri must have known that Wati could heal her, he said. And she must have told Worm about her twin. That's how Worm knew to bring her here. Is Worm an earth dragon? Haru asked. Drake nodded. They have amazing powers, said Haru. Worm did the right thing when he brought Capri here. Rory gave Drake a high five. Anna hugged Worm. Thank you, Worm. Then Bo looked nervously at Capri and Wati. Look, Wati was standing up on his hind legs with his wings spread out wide. Everyone step back, quick, Haru yelled. They moved away just as Wati opened his mouth. A ribbon of dark colors streamed out. It looks almost like a rainbow, Drake thought, except it's all Blue and black and purple. Wati's rainbow ribbon grew and grew. It swirled around Capri's body. She stirred a little, but her eyes were still closed. Anna squeezed Drake's hand. The light from the blue and purple rainbow grew bigger and shone brighter. The dragon masters had to shield their eyes. Then, whoosh, the light swirled all around them. End of chapter 9. We'll see you soon for chapter 10. Bye-bye.